Welcome Scale Modelers to SMKR. This is Steve. This is the AMT Superbug Gasser. Welcome back. This is the AMT Superbug Gasser kit number 1044. Just reissued this year. It's a, a kit that dates back to the 70s, so it's much wanted and much needed by all of us uh, fans of Volkswagens. Let's look at the box art. Gives us the original box art that we saw for this kit way back in the 70s. Shows us all the full features and details. Free color display stand is included. And we'll look at everything inside the kit here. And even the original art that was found on the original issue of this kit. Firestone Super Rims. Goodyear Vinyl Blue Streaks. No, that's the Goodyear Vinyl Blue Streaks. I don't think those were on the original issue. The red stripes were, but not the blue streaks. And of course we get the full suspension, front and back, along with the complete Volkswagen motor. It's a nice kit. Open it up. First thing that we see is the backdrop. That comes with the kit folds up, makes a nice display. We have the, the body itself. Now this is a gasser. It's also a cartoonish shaped body. It's not the actual what you would see on a regular Volkswagen kit. And the clear parts. So they give us both the clear windshield, which was on the original issue, and they give us a greenish tinted color, yellow greenish tinted cover windshield on this issue, which is nice, nice touch. Little red tail lights. Chrome, all kinds of chrome here. We had our, our um, rims and moon moon style rims and the Kregers engine and a grill for the uh, another release that came out. We'll talk about that more a little later. Tires. We'll look at those and talk about that a little more a little later also. And the rest of the kit parts. Baggie full of uh, more accessories for the display. The kit decals. And lastly, the instructions. Here's the kit instructions for the Superbug. Now it goes over the engine assembly uh, along with installing what type of exhaust you would prefer to have. Next page are your wheel options on top there. On the left, uh, chassis. Assembling the full chassis, it looks very much the part. Interior, making it easier the VW Street version or the drag version and or the dune buggy. Okay, So we'll go over the parts and we'll talk a little bit more about this kit. Here are the decals and they look within register and they look very nice here. Close-up look of the decals.
here's the cardboard display stand and some of the accessories that go along with it. Another section of the stand. Crowd. Again, the crowd. Another portion of the stand. Showing you how to assemble everything. Here's the kit body, which measures a little over five inches. Now if you look, it actually has kind of a cartoonish look where it's kind of scrunched up, especially in the, on the back end, the back window here. Provisions for a separate opening front hood, and of course an opening trunk or deck lid to display the engine. Tampo graphics here on the bottom, let's see what they have to say. Nice little details with the door handle, the chrome trim, the rain drip around the top. Just a little bit of cleanup required around the windows, frames, and seam lines along the hood. And just a little spot here on location area where to put the tail lights on. Another version of this kit that was released, and it's essentially almost the same kit, is called the Streetle Beetle by AMT, and that's uh, available now too. So uh, look for that also, and I may do a review of that also when I receive that one. Here are the tires, and uh, two of the tires are missing. A friend of mine wanted them really bad, so I went ahead and did a trade. He gave me just some plain tires. But the tires that he traded me for were the ones that had the, the red stripe on one side and they had the blue stripe on the other side. He really wanted those for a project, so I didn't have an issue with that. But if you look at the slicks here, they have the blue stripe on the one side here and they do have the Goodyear Tampo graphics on them. And the plain tires, which I'm more than likely going to use, they don't have any, any uh, stripes on them, but they do have the Goodyear on them. Also included is a metal uh, axle shaft. Here is the chrome tree. And as you can see, lots of stuff here. Lots of chrome parts for the engine. Starting with the engine. The engine block itself, the cylinder heads, the fan shroud tins are all in chrome. Then we have the mag wheels, the Kreger style type wheels the moon eye type wheels and it looks like um, we have like the, the sand buggy type wheels chrome steering wheel tail light assemblies some exhaust parts and we actually have the, the grill for the Street Old Beetle. So that's telling me this is the same chrome tree that's found in that kit. Here are the headlights. And no clear parts are provided with the headlights. Here are the clear parts. I'm not going to remove them from the bags because it just it'll help preserve them. But I'll give you a close up here. We have the clear windshield which came with the, from the original release and then we have the tinted lime green windshield with this release and then we have the red tail lights here's the tree with the doom buggy wheels now the original release the plastic was in yellow so this time they give it to us in white we have the front end ball joint front end for the front of the Beetle, steering link with linkages, gas pedal, and such. 
is part of the lower pan or chassis, which is the same chassis that's found in the Meyer, Myers Minx AMT release or the Doom Buggy. So we have the typical Volkswagen pan and the tunnel. Looks like we have a gas tank for up front and close up of the tunnel. You can see the shocks are on here too. Here's the front hood. Some roll bar accessories here, parts of the exhaust, and the muffler, the glass pack. No Volkswagen emblem on the hood. Here's the dash, which represents the dash of a dune buggy and the seats of a dune buggy. The seats already have the seat belts in them. And close up of the dash. And the last sprue, which comprises the rear deck lid, the antenna, the J tubes for the exhaust and a couple other minor parts. Three parts were actually already off the sprue. And let's look at the deck lid a little closer. Once again, no emblems on the rear deck lid. No louvers or uh, cooling vents on there either. And there you have it. This was the AMT Superbug Gasser. A reissue from early 1970s. Comes with a detailed engine and chassis. The same chassis that you'll find in the Meyer Minx release and the Street Old Beetle. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy modeling everybody.